Hello everyone. So till now we have been utilizing Wayback URL to crawl for the endpoints and for the URLs as well as then we were filtering the parameters from them and we were doing parameter grep and then searching for specific parameters, replacing in them and identifying if those particular URLs or injection points were vulnerable to some of the attacks. Now, to widen our scope and to increase our scope, we are going to use GAU, which is also known as get all URLs. Now, this tool does the same thing, but it does not have one source to fetch from. So as a Wayback Archive fetches or crawls all the data sets from Wayback URL, this tool uses three different sources. The first source is the Alien Walls OTX, which is the Open Threat Exchange, which collects and crawls all the URLs with that. The second is the Wayback Machine. Obviously, the Wayback URL tool that we, have, we have used uses the same database of Wayback Machine and also common crawl for any given domain. So for those who do not know common crawl, common crawl is a non-profit 501 organization that crawls the web and freely provides the archives and data sets to the public. So on this website, they provide all the data sets to you that we can utilize. Basically all the data set contains the URLs for any specific target. So yes, we have widened our scope because we are using three different sources. So that means we are going to get a lot of URLs. Although this may happen that some of the URLs may turn out to be duplicate or same. So we can sort that also, but doing this will obviously increase our scope by a very good margin. So now, Let's quickly see how to set up this tool and how to use this tool. So first thing first, you can also git clone the repository from here or if you have go installed, you can also download this tool from the source. So I have already done this for that. You just need to type go get, go to your terminal, type this and hit enter. It will install go into your computer, which is get all URLs. So done when it has successfully finished, you need to choose the target that you want to scan. So here, some of the options are there into the help menu, which you can see. So the options are first is the JSON, which means you want to write your output as JSON hyphen O is to save the output into any particular file. So you can give the file name providers is which means from which specific source you want to crawl the URLs. So by default, it, it crawls from all of the three. If you want to fetch it from one single one, you can give the name as well. For example, hyphen providers, only way back, only OTX or only common crawl. So what we can do is if we are, we have already done crawling from way back URLs. So we are going to skip this and only going to crawl from these two resources or database. And after we have got those data sets from these database, we are going to add this to Wayback URL. If you have already done crawling for any specific target, if you have not crawled for anything using the Wayback URLs, you can crawl for your bug bounty programs using all of the three together from this single tool, which is get all URLs. All right. So next is retries. If you want to set the retries for five seconds, it will retry. Hyphen subs is a good option, which gives you the subdomains as well for the target that you are scanning for. So you will get all the URLs of the target domain as well as its subdomain. Hyphen V is to enable the verbose mode and hyphen version is to see the version that we are running on. So let me just show you that we are running onto the latest version, which is 1.0.3 as can be seen over here. Yes. Yeah. So we are onto the latest version as can be seen. Now let's quickly get some URLs for apple.com. 
So I'm going to show you a comparison of a Wayback as well as Gao. So first thing I have already done this. So let me show you the command first to get all the URLs for any specific target. So you just need to type GAU and you need to type the domain name. And if you want the subs, you can also get the subs. And just if you want to save the output, then hyphen O and the file name. So let's give the name as Apple subs and I'm going to hit enter. After you have hit enter, it is going to crawl all the domains and it is going to give you. So it will take considerable amount of time because it is fetching all the URLs from three targets. As you can see, the best thing is you can also see whatever is happening into the background. So I'm just going to stop this for now because it will take considerable amount of time and I have already done this scan and let me show you the results. So as you can see over here, yeah. So this is the file which I was talking about and which I have saved for Apple using get all URLs and you can see the word count. So these many URLs I have got for apple.com without adding the hyphen subs option. If I would have added hyphen subs option, I would have got even more. So this actually means my scope has increased a lot. And here you can see this output is using Apple Wayback, using the Wayback URLs. And here you can see the word count is 54,000 only. So just thousands of domains and here we have lakhs of domain for that specific target. So yes, you can yourself compare the results and see. Obviously, we knew that we are going to get more number of results because it is fetching from three different sources and chances are that they may also turn out to be duplicate, but we are increasing our scope. That is more important. Yeah, so even if it's a duplicate, then no issues. We can sort that out or we can just pass it to the grep and we can just grep the particular URLs that we want and we can use QS replace to only fuzz for those particular parameters which contains any specific keyword that we want or only parameter containing URLs. The main motive here is we do not want to miss any particular URL. Even though if we get some more count of URL, that's fine for us. We will just scan it or ignore it later on, but we should not miss any particular URL of that target. Chances may be the URL that you are missing or skipping may turn out to be vulnerable. That's why increasing the scope is very, very important. And we can see we have got a very good number of URLs, which we would have never got using Wayback or doing Burp Spider, obviously. So yes, now we can start hunting on these particular all the URLs. There's a lot more things need to be done with this URLs. We cannot directly start scanning them. First, we will filter them after filtering, fil filtering based on we are going to grep equals to equals to is basically I mean, we are going to see if there are any parameters into those URLs. So first we are going to fit filter that. So we'll identify the parameters from them. And then in those parameters, we are going to replace our payload and see if they work as we have seen into the previous videos. I hope you guys understood how you can utilize get all URLs tool. And uh, this will be helpful for everyone. Thank you.